Hi everyone, my name is Deborah J. Thank you so much for turning up today. I see some faces that I know already, which is great to see. And it's also really, really good to see some faces that I don't yet know as well. Um, so yeah, so today, basically what I wanted to do was I want to introduce you to the soul navigation experiment that I'm planning to undertake. It's a bit of a pilot program and it's something that I'm hoping that you'll all be really interested in. Um, essentially what I'll do today is I'll do a little bit of a presentation so you get an idea and a feel for what it is that we are um, talking about in terms of the experiment. But I also wanted to start off by just kind of tapping in with everybody that's here and really connecting in with you, you guys to see what is it that you would like from this session today and what is what were your expectations and I would love to know where are you at in life in terms of what are the areas that you feel most stuck in so is there anybody who wants to share and kind of start and just give me an idea where in life do you feel like you're stuck and where is it that you'd like to focus on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of information about me so as I said my name is Deborah J I'm here in Dublin in Ireland and those who follow me will know a little bit about me already. Those who don't, I'll just kind of give you a brief uh, overview of who we am and why I'm here doing what I'm doing. So essentially, back in 2015, 2016, my life completely changed after a big Hollywood style um, traumatic life experience. My dad died and I was engaged to get married and then that all fell through. And essentially what happened was the rug was completely pulled from underneath me. And everything that I knew, everything I had been building for just seemed like a, a total illusion. And it's as though I kind of woke up and kind of thought to myself, well, things can't get any worse. Do you know, everything had been taken away from me. Things can't get any, any worse. But what does that mean? There's nothing left for me. And it really brought me back actually to childhood in a way, because I remember as a kid lying there kind of going like, what is the meaning of life? Why are we here? Who are we? And all this kind of thing. I was a very deep little kid. And essentially, I went off traveling because I needed to escape from my life here because it was in a shambles. It was nothing that I recognized. And as I began traveling, when I wasn't going out with somebody, because I had been a serial relationship where for quite a long period of time, when I wasn't going out with somebody, when I had none of my um, friends around, when I had no toxic relationships around, what I began to uncover was a completely different me that I knew was there, but it was so quiet and so subtle that I didn't know it. I didn't have a relationship to it. I didn't have a relationship to that deeper part of who I am. And because of that, I suppose I was living my world or living my life in a very externalized way. Uh, I often felt really disempowered. I often felt literally like I was asleep at the wheel, wheel of my own life. I would have cry snotty tear fest wondering why the heck I can't seem to be happy in my life. I just felt really frustrated, really unhappy, really unfulfilled. And yet externally, I was doing everything that I thought that I was meant to be doing to bring myself happiness, but none of it was working for me. And what happened was big life event. The universe came along and said, Debs, you're completely out of alignment. You're not getting the picture. You're not getting the hint. So we're just going to pull, <laughs> pull the rug and take it from underneath you to cause a massive reset. And that's really what it did. It really did reset me completely um and it was very unintentional and I suppose the reason I now do what I do is because the journey that that took me on to losing myself finding myself figuring out why all these things have been happening in my life all these kind of repetitive events why I kept meeting the same people why I kept having the same kind of relationships or uh, toxic relationships or things happening to me over and over and over again I started to really pull apart the human experience to figure out what the fuck was going on and in that I decided that the best place to start would be by looking at nature and nature really is where I began nature really is what brought me on my journey because nature is the one thing that's as untouched by human hand as it you know as it possibly can be um it's destroyed by humans but but it it grows and it it, it is very natural. Look, it's nature. Um, and I suppose the reason that I now do what I'm doing is because I would love to help other people not have to go 
to the extent that the universe goes, my God, you're completely out of alignment. You need to have this experience because you're not listening and we're going to turn up the volume on it until you do start listening. And rather than you having to get the rug pulled out completely from underneath you like I did, um, I want to bring this to people so that they can learn the tools that helped me so that it helps them. That's basically what I want to do. And in my soul navigation system, which I'll kind of touch on briefly here today, um, essentially, that's what I'd be sharing over the, the course of eight weeks. If I'm really honest with you, I think eight weeks is too short. I think online coaching is going to have to change. Everything is like, do the six week, do this 10 week, do this eight week course. Our lives are ever changing. They're completely um, ever unfolding. You can't learn how to live your life in eight weeks. But what I'm hoping to do is at least give you a taster for being able to swim with your armbands off. Uh, and then being able to perfect how you swim thereafter is something that's up to you, whether you want to continue to work with me in a different way, or maybe we can extend the group if you're getting benefit from it. We can look at it as we go along. Um, or, you know, essentially the reason I'm doing this as an experiment is I'm used to do one-to-one coaching. I'm used to doing one-to-one astrology. I'm used to doing one-to-one Reiki. Um, and I have done a lot of master classes for other people for other people's groups based on specific topics um or themes that would be kind of in keeping with their clients and and um kind of little nuggets you know but i haven't ever brought the whole lot of it to a group and if i'm honest i have no idea what way this is going to work um really what i'm looking for is a group of people who are interested in showing up as themselves completely imperfect um, who are learning for, for the process to be imperfect and to be part of a process which is in development, which can only get better for people. Um, and I'll discuss that all at the end uh, as well. So what we'll do is we'll dive into the Intrepid Soul Navigation Experiment. So it's for souls who are in search of deeper meaning in life, essentially. And as I said, my name is Deborah J. So I'm a self-confessed learning addict, absolutely obsessed with the human experience, with consciousness, with natural living, and as well as being totally self, uh, being a totally self-confessed um, queen of perfect imperfection and consistent inconsistency. I am a Virgo son. Virgos are really analytical. They're also quite perfectionisty, but they're all they're ma- like I would say as a Virgo, I don't think that I'm so perfectionisty. It's in specific ways or certain things in my life I would be. Um, but I have to say that when it comes to starting projects, quite often I procrastinate a lot because I can't see the overall picture yet. I don't know the fine details of it. That's the very Virgo perfectionist kind of side of things. And because I don't know the fine details of it, I'm like, oh, well, I won't do it and I won't do it. I won't um, start. So to overcome that, I'm essentially asking you to support me in my own journey of embracing my imperfection and allowing me to bring all of my wisdom and skills and tools to you in the most imperfect way that I know how to do it and hope that you will, um, I suppose, support me on that journey as I support you on your journey to be able to take these tools and begin to use them in your own life. Um, also, I suppose another part of me is um, in terms of experience, oh, I'm one of these jack of all trades. I have, you know, I, I run from my own clinic here. I run Reiki sessions, distant Reiki sessions, reflexology. I do astrology, life path astrology, career astrology. Li- um, uh, I do coaching, soul navigation coaching. And then I have done lots of different trainings through the years as well, so, which I don't practice. So I've actually studied a bit of hypnotherapy and psychotherapy. I studied meditation. I studied herbal medicine in loads of different countries all the way around the world. Ayurvedic herbology, acupressure, um, EFT, the list goes on and on. And these are all the tools that I use in my life to, to survive, thrive and shine. And these are the tools that I want to help you in your life to survive, thrive and shine. So what are we going to look at today? So we're going to look at why you're here, what's needed to resolve those, the reasons that you're here, the intrepid soul navigation experiment, what you'll learn during that time. And then we look at any questions and I will have some freebies at the end for those who uh, have attended today as well. 
So why are you here? I'm going to guess the reason that you're here is because you're feeling stuck, blocked, overwhelmed, frustrated, confused, disconnected from yourself. You feel maybe a little bit lost in life, in love and relationships and career, or you're just not sure what direction you want to go to. Um, you feel unbalanced or even powerless in your own life to be able to course correct it into a direction that you would like for yourself. I'm going to guess that a lot of you are stuck in repetitive patterns, that you feel like you're stuck in a loop, that there must be something more to life and you just can't get in at it. Um, perhaps you feel like there's something that you were meant to be doing that's bigger than what you're doing now, that you're lacking fulfillment, lacking clarity or direction, attracting the same relationships and people. We look at that. That's a, an incredible gift, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, and then also when we're stuck in repetitive patterns, we find the volume goes up as well. And we look at uh, we, we will in detail look at why that is. So I suppose really the other thing that a lot of people do is that they try to fix themselves. When you're fixing ourselves, we're actively rejecting who we are. So when we're fixing ourselves, it means we're sending a message to ourselves that we don't accept who we are as we are. And it means that you're probably you've gone out, read the books, bought the courses, attended the workshops, met the gurus and bawled your eyes out of the therapist's office, came out and figured out, well, what the heck was all that about? And no doubt, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you would have ended up right back to where you started in some way, shape or form. And the reason is you cannot fix what's not broken. If you're trying to change something that's in your personality, if you're trying to change something in terms of who you are and if it's actually a part of who you are and a part that you need to integrate and cultivate, you're actively trying to get rid of parts of yourself that are that are inherently you. And a lot of the reason why people do this is because they don't understand that the outside world is constantly telling them who they're supposed to be, constantly conditioning them over what to wear, what to eat, how to sleep, how to drink, who to be. And the world is kind of like we're looking at the world as being the mother of telling us how to be rather than actually owning our own autonomy and governing our own um, life by deciding that for ourselves. So quite often it can feel like we're stuck on kind of factory default settings. And then also I would imagine, you know, a lot of people feel like life is happening to you, not for you. And what I mean by that is, you know, you want to, um, you know, become your own boss and set up your own business or have a little side hustle or you want to uh, leave your career and be a stay at home mom or you want to uh, take up a hobby or a vocation or an interest or dive deeper into your spirituality, whatever it is. And you feel like you can't get in at it. Um, so you feel that things are just getting in your way and, you know, that it's not for that life is happening for you, to you, not for you. So what's needed to resolve all of this, you say? So first of all, the one thing that helped me was by looking at nature, literally looking at nature for the answers. If we look to nature, we can see the patterns, life, death, rebirth, the cycles of patterns, the seasons begin and change, life bursts forward, life dies. You know, it's like this constant evolution and this constant change. And there are, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. It's very much the external world that we live in, we are manifesting it. Whether we want to believe it, do believe it or don't believe it, it doesn't really matter because it's actually just what's happening. So if, you're inter if your interior world isn't aligning with what you want to see on the outside, it's because you haven't made it consciously aware. You're not consciously choosing your own future. You're not consciously um, aware of who you are working with what you have and what you were born with and what you came in here to work with. You're, it's kind of like you're ignoring that and going, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't really want that. I'm going to choose this life over here. And that's why I use astrology, because astrology is a great way to be able to show people what you were born with, what you yourself were uniquely born with. And when you can see that, then you can stop actively rejecting that part of you and begin integrating it into your life and working with the tools that you've been given in this lifetime to use. You know, um, in astrology, when, you know, when you begin to learn the in and outs of astrology, sometimes it can be like, oh, yeah, you know, at the very beginning, it can be like, oh, I wish I was like 
I wish I was like an Aries more because I had more courage or I wish I was more kind of uh, Capricornian because they're really good at like getting things done and structure and whatever. And, you know, and like we have this thing about, oh, I'll just move my Chiron wounded healer placement over to here because that serves me better. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't change where things are in your astrology chart. So rather than wishing you were somebody else and wishing for something else, it's better to work with what we have and what we came in, because otherwise, honestly, you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your precious life and your precious time trying to be something that's not written for you. Um, and you know it, too, because actually, instinctually inside, you know what it is you came here to do. You're actively you've you've been moving in that direction. It's just that you've also been fighting it and changing it because you think, according to the world outside, that it's not for you. And so another part of what's needed to resolve this kind of fixing instead of fixing, actively integrating it is to reconnect with our inner wisdom, because all the answers that you're looking for really are inside you. And I remember being told that and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to kill the next person who says that to me, because if the answers are inside me, how the heck do I get inside? How do I get in there? Um, and it was really, really frustrating, I have to admit. So um, and I'm the kind of person that I don't teach anything and I don't share anything unless it's worked for me personally. So all the modalities and tools that I use are really are only things that have actually worked for me and also for my clients. But it started with me and that's me sharing the information from my life. And then I'm translating that to my clients as I go along. Uh, and I've seen some amazing results from it as well. So the reason I have this picture of the little birdie is simply because we have we have a habit of seeking the answers outside of ourselves. As I said in you know one of the previous slides, we actively are searching outside ourselves for you know a guru who can give us the magic pill to tell us you know what it is we're meant to be doing with our life, or you know the therapist who's going to magically find that little blind spot that you couldn't see for years and you couldn't get after, um, so that you can uh, wash it away and make it all better. And really, that's not what life is about. It's not about trying to wash it away. It's not a tr it's not about trying to get rid of that stain. It's about trying to understand the reason that it's there in the first place. Is it something that's in your birth chart, which it will be, that you're actively here to understand and become a master at that? You know, the things that were our biggest messes are our biggest messages. So when a bird is born, you know, when a bird cracks out of its egg and mom and dad are bringing it food and whatever, it's very high up in a tree. That bird has to someday learn how to leave that nest and fly out of it. And how did the bird instinctually know how to fly out of that out of that nest? It didn't, you know, go to workshops and courses on how to do it. It just instinctually knew. Right. It's, it's in its DNA. And as a human, you really were born with everything that you need to survive. You've just been numbed and dumbed to your own curiosity of self and your ability to tap into your own inner wisdom. And in the eight weeks that you're with me, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be really tapping back into becoming self-governing, self-sufficient, auton aut autonomous in terms of learning how it is that we can govern and rule and navigate our own life in accordance and in alignment with our soul purpose. So the intrepid soul navigation experiment, as I said, like with all great experiments, there must be room for growth, growth, imperfection, adaptability, experimental and experiential learning. The group is only as good as its members, interactions, passion and curiosity for growth, feedback and interaction. So this really is an opportunity to be part of a pilot program to build a, a group work setting for exploration, growth, cultivation and community. Essentially, what I want to do is I meet so many clients who they usually my clients are, are people who usually um, feel like there's something more to life. They don't know what it is. They don't know how to get in at it. They want to stop repeating the same patterns over and over again. And they feel like they're a little bit different and a little bit misunderstood or that they're in some way disconnected from the, their community or their family or friends or whoever it is. And a lot of this is because they're awakening. And when we start the awakening process, that dark night of the soul, it is so lonely because it is only ourselves. We begin to learn 
it is own dear selves can act that can actually heal ourselves and we begin to learn its own dear selves that can actually um really implement and make the necessary changes in life to get us what we want you know um so this experiment is it's going to be messy and imperfect and beautifully uh, intuitive and i feel the best is going to come from how we show up every week with vulnerability with integrity with honesty with authenticity and with courage to be able to come into your group of people and to be able to say you know i'm interested in doing this it's something that i um i want to get in i want to learn the skills and tools and i'm going to bring what's happening with me on the weekly because that's actually where the work is the work isn't like let's go like create this whole scenario for you to go off and and learn your tools how you're going to learn to implement your tools is actually in your weekly your week on week um interaction with your own life uh, and when you have that um i guarantee you the universe will honestly throw you curveballs that are going to give you opportunities to try out your new skills because really that's how it works the volume button the, the best places to look um for the work that we can kind of do the most um um the biggest steps of work are those areas that we're, we're feeling the volume button turned up in. So those areas in life that we're feeling really triggered and frustrated in, if you bring them to this group work setting and talk about it in an open and honest way so that we can coach around it and give you tools and homework for the week that's going to be able to help you personally. Excuse me. Um, and the other thing as well is, believe it or not, and I've been in so many group situations, that the thing that you don't want to say when you come to group that you're like, oh, I'll just sit back and wait for somebody else to say it. Or I don't really want to say it. I don't really feel comfortable or I'm afraid that I'm going to sound stupid or whatever. There, when you when you show up to a group and can be vulnerable and can be honest and authentic, I absolutely categorically um, tell you that you're going to see nodding heads from the rest of the group because they're going to know exactly how you feel you're going to be able to put words on something that other people in the group have not been able to put words on yet. And you'll actually find that you're less alone than what you think you are. And a lot of the feeling alone comes from because we're afraid to in be intuitive. We're afraid to say, to speak intuitively. Um, and I notice this when I'm doing coaching. I notice it when I'm doing Reiki sessions with people. I notice it when I'm doing the astrology as well. And it comes up time and time and time again teaching people how to speak intuitively, how to speak in shapes and, and sounds and colors and language. And it doesn't mean that you have to have some weird, you know, gobbledygook language. That's not what it's about. What it's about is honoring the honoring the the way that your words are coming up, the way that your words are coming out, honoring the way that you want to speak in your life. You don't feel that you can because the people around you don't get you. We're intuitive. I guarantee the people who are here today there's a way that if you could speak how you wanted to speak, you would be totally afraid that everybody would complete, be completely alienated um, from you, that you'd kind of be rejected from your social setting or from your family or from your friends. And I can categorically tell you that that's also what's stopping your progression. Because if there's one thing I learned on my journey, and I was really, really blessed, I actually came back from all my travels and I cut away a lot of relationships that I had because they were really toxic. They were really toxic relationships and they weren't in keeping with the alignment of where I wanted to go in my life. And as a result, I've had to start from ground zero, like really, really start from the very basics up. And the other thing that I noticed and that, I, as I said, I was really grateful for, um, the one person who was really always there for me in my life, thankfully, I'm lucky I have her, my mum, um, and a couple of handful of friends who I just spoke intuitively. I just I just got used to on my travels while I was away, got used to speaking intuitively. And I speak more creatively now because and it just flows for me. Um, and this is what will happen to you the more that you practice being yourself and showing up as yourself. But you can't do that unless you're willing to be a little bit vulnerable, sound absolutely ridiculous and stupid and uh you know have a wobble uh, fall off the the wagon get back on say something that sounds ridiculous i guarantee you there's absolutely nothing stupid or ridiculous about anything that you'll say and you will absolutely find that there's other people in the group who feel the same as you 
So that's um, part of what we'll do as well. So basically, as I said, bringing soul navigation coaching to a group is what we're looking to do. It'll be eight weeks of playful curiosity, cultivating your intuition, exploration of self. It'll be about developing your mindset, learning lots of new skills and gaining clarity, meaning and purpose on the way. You're going to meet lots of like minded souls and a lot of it is going to be about sharing growth and eldership. If there's one thing I'm really passionate about, it is eldership. We are living in times where our greatest role models have been pinned onto the fake world of celebrity. It's been pinned on TV and films and movie and pop culture and pop music and celebrity culture. And it's, you know, we're living in a world that's really, we're being programmed very, very heavily from our external world in. And the only way that we can change that is by just becoming aware of it, if I'm really honest with you, just consciously um, developing that. But because of the world that we live in, unfortunately, we're losing the eldership of life experience. You know, we really shouldn't be at the stage where we're relying on coaches to be able to teach us how to get back to normality, how to get back to ourselves. And it's and it's sad and, and it's sad that that's the work that we have to do. But we need to begin somewhere. And the way I see eldership is if we all learn to know ourselves as wholly as we possibly can, if we all learn to integrate the parts of ourselves that we've been actively rejecting and learn to embrace them and to learn the gold nuggets that have been inside them, uh, if we become the best version of who we possibly can be, that's the role of eldership. The role of eldership is learning the how to use your natural resources and your intuition to guide you and then teaching those who come after you the same whether that's your kids your family your friends or whoever and speaking intuitively as part of that as well so what will you learn while you're working with me so essentially the first part of the the, the three pillars of the soul navigation system is first one is uncovering who you truly are so we look at nature's maps whether that's astrology you know, the TCM map are looking at our feelings and our emotions as guides, body talk. Um, we have maps all over our body. We have maps all over in front of a signpost everywhere. And um, I will go into much deeper detail about how you can use all this, which are free to you. These resources and information are free to you and you can use them to help you develop and cultivate a better lifestyle for yourself and to help you survive and thrive as well. The second part of the soul navigation system is to reconnect with your inner wisdom. So as I said before, all the all the answers really do lie inside you. We need to be able to reconnect back in with that. We literally need to rebuild the energetic trust and rapport with our inner self so that we can answer our own questions, so that we can be more self-governing and self-sufficient, so that we can relate to others more clearly in a more compassionate, empathetic way, because we know and understand our universe and the, the signposts and the language of our body and our, you know, of the world so that we can interpret it more clearly to be able to navigate life in a much more um, balanced and aligned fashion. So um, lots of different tools we'll, we'll um, use like EFT and journaling, meditation, um, you know, flower essences, herbal remedies, but it's really, there's lots of different things that we can do and I'll, I'll share a lot of them with you. And the last really is to interpret your world. All the answers, again, they lie, they lie inside you as above, so or as above, so below, as within, so without. So when we're talking about interpreting our world, it's like, why does that repetitive pattern happen over and over again? Why do I keep meeting the same people? Why do I keep having the same uh, dis-ease and disharmony in my body? Why do I keep having these panic attacks? Why do I keep feeling stressful in this particular environment? Why do I keep getting frustrated so easily? Why can't I relate to other people? Why can't other people relate to me? Why do I feel disconnected? All these different things. There is gold to learn inside of them. And instead of feeling disempowered, it's learning to feel empowered by knowing that there is something in that for you to interpret and for you to curiously understand what's being reflected back to you. So some of the modalities um, which will be covered in the course, and it'll depend intuitively on what comes up at the time as we go along. Um, but essentially, personal astrology is a map and a shortcut to you. Um, whether I, you know, whether I teach you lots of personal astrology or whether you want to just know the basics of it. Again, this is an intuitive group 
uh, experiment. I'm going to meet you where you're at. I'm going to meet you for what you need. I won't be teaching you all of astrology because that is impossible for uh, to do in eight weeks. And also um, it, it's a whole other process, but it certainly wouldn't help or wouldn't uh, do any harm. And it will help if you know the basics, if, like your sun, moon, rising, north node and Chiron. We, we can discuss that in more detail and why that's important for you to learn and to know. Uh, your soul survival toolkit, how you cope in the world is going to be um, it, the, the actual toolkit that you need, like journaling, meditation, EFT, herbal and fl uh, flower remedies, essential oils, acupressure, reflexology, Reiki. Uh, and I actually uh, will be teaching Reiki one and two later on this year as well, if for anybody who's interested. Intention setting, how to use rituals, manifesting and so much more. These are all the tools that are going to be in your toolbox. And some will resonate with you and some won't. And it's important, once again, about figuring out what works for you. And then last is, and I feel this is the most important part, is how to fall down and get back up. Because it's only when you fall down and all of the, the everything that you've learned has fall, fallen away that you have to relearn it all over again, that you begin to, re, to really integrate the practice um, of all these different things that you have on your soul toolkit. So falling down getting back up what happens is and what i've noticed in my own life my client's life there's a process right there's a process where we learn all the skills we learn all the tools we feel great and we're like yes i have everything in control and then the universe comes along and gives you a pop quiz to say well that's amazing but have you really learned it and uh, essentially what it does is it knocks you back on your ass and then says okay well here's a test for you to see what of your tools has stuck what tools do you need to relearn and what is it that you need to get back in contact with? How, are you come, how have you come out of alignment? And really, when we, we fall flat on our ass and everything falls away, when we get complacent with the work that we've done, oh, I've, I've learned that I don't need to do it anymore. The universe is just serving a reminder to say, like, your work is not done. Don't give up. Um, and here's a hurdle for you to get over. And when you get over it, you feel great. And you're like, oh, that actually was really cool that I had to relearn that because now I know it even more than I did before. And what happens is the the period of time between like learning and falling on your ass and learning and falling on your ass gets less and less and less. So um, the space in between, should I say, kind of gets longer. So I find what happens is you learn a new skill or ability. The universe gives you the opportunity to reinforce it and own it or to have to relearn it again. And then the space of time between it having to happen again, the volume button turns down. And then you kind of forget about it and the universe gives you another opportunity to go. Do you remember that thing? Have you learned it? OK, well, here's another opportunity to use that skill that you've learned. And that's basically how it all works. And it's like a spiral. You know, life is like a spiral. We're never completely finished. What we're going to do is we're going to learn all the tools here that are going to help us as we meet those events and people and circumstances again and again and again as we kind of raise our consciousness as we raise our vibration and as we become more kind of awakened alert higher conscious higher vibrational human beings uh, and it's not about raising yourself three foot off the ground with a perma smile on your face or being in lotus position all the time it's about using your body and your world as a practical tool to be able to help you really navigate survive thrive and um and to to navigate your own life so what is this all about? The pilot program, like a lot of pilot programs out there that would be eight weeks long, I can categorically tell you they would be easily, absolutely easily between one to two thousand euros. Um, to be honest, that was me being really generous. I'd say most pilot programs that would be eight weeks are probably maybe four, four or five thousand euros, especially when you've access directly to the coach. Um, or access directly to the source of the information. Uh, a lot of coaching programs out there, they operate from like a, um, a portal kind of system. You kind of log in, you learn the information and you might see the person who's, you know, imparting all their wisdom and tools like once in a blue moon and that. I want to be here with you every step of the way as we go through these eight weeks because my interaction with you, I'm going to be learning as much about what groups and what people need from me in terms of the information that I can share and impart. And you guys are going to get the learning. So I'm parting my information with you, but in in um, 
uh, in return, I'm getting the experience of working with you guys as a group and being able to share all my wisdom and information and to meet you where you're at. That's really what it's about. There's no um, set agenda as such because life is not a set agenda. And I want to be able to meet you all where you're at because I guarantee there's going to be themes that happen as we go along through the cutting for the next few weeks. Um, and that's basically what we're looking at here. So as I said, most pilot pro or most uh, programs will be offered well in excess of over one to 2000 euros. And I'm going to be offering it for a much more humane price. So mine is actually going to be 45 euros. You'll need to convert that to US dollars or wherever it is that you're based. So 45 euros by eight weeks paid weekly. Um, and this will be done on a trust basis that you're um, paying the 45 euros per week for the eight weeks, which will work out about 360 euros. Or if you're going to pay the whole lot all in one go, which I would recommend to do, and I will be in preference for because it's less headache and admin for me, it will be um, paid all in one go, a total of 320 euros. Like, seriously, it's an absolute steal. So, um, and I hope that you'll you'll jump on board and I hope you jump on board for this opportunity to be able to do it as well. The dates are um, the dates are potentially going to be mid-March for eight weeks. I'm thinking Tuesday evenings at seven o'clock, kind of Dublin, London time. And then for a full list of dates and schedules, I'm going to confirm that it depends on um, it depends on who's joining, how many people are joining. It's going to depend on um, the uh time zones that you're in as well and again this is a human interactive experience so i want to you know i want to know uh that this is working for everybody as well within reason you can't please everybody right so this is just kind of giving you an idea as to to how it will look so now i am happy to answer any questions you have so you can drop them in the chat below if you have any questions or um you can contact me directly and uh, we can go from there. Otherwise, this is going to, I'm going to stick this video onto YouTube as well, guys. Um, so for those who are interested in jumping on board this eight week session, please do contact me on deborahjsoulnavigation at gmail.com. I'll put the links below or check out www.deborahjkelly.com for more information on my own services. You can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Deborah J. Kelly. But otherwise, if you have any queries, um, drop them in the comments below, get in contact with me and I can sign you up for the course. And then for everybody else, I look forward to seeing you then. Talk to you soon. Bye.